Of course, <clears throat> it isn't even <clears throat> limited to election law. Among the most dangerous parts of S-1 is the way it would equip partisan regulators to intimidate and to discourage private citizens from engaging in political speech. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this one is a familiar concept for too many Americans. It's not hard to imagine federal bureaucrats indulging ideological grudges and chilling free speech. It's actually happened before. The nation was reminded just a few weeks ago how unable the federal government can be to protect private citizens' personal information. Unable or just unwilling? But conservatives in particular didn't need a reminder of what became institutionalized discrimination under the last Democratic administration. So when private contributors, nonprofit advocacy groups, and religious organizations see that S-1's disclosure requirements would intentionally unlearn the lessons of the IRS abuses under Lois Lerner, they have plenty of reasons, plenty, to fear. Naming and shaming is not a hypothetical concept. It's been a concrete reality for thousands of private citizens. And today, Democrats are asking for a green light to supercharge the intimidation machine that makes all that possible.